Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the FP Journe Chronomet Bleu 39mm in polished tantalum. You can see and you can purchase this unique high horology three hand timepiece on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during the video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details for this iconic. FP Journ chronometer watch. Now, here's the thing. Introduced in 2009, the FP Journ Chronomet Bleu is one of the few simple watches in the world that qualifies as a showstopper 10 out of 10 times in any watch snob crowd. The bottom line is that this watch is among very, very few peers when it comes to the combination of simplicity and sheer enthusiast impact. It's with the likes of the Philippe Dufour Simplicity in all of its variants, and Kerry Voudelainen's Vent Huit. This is a watch that is instantly recognizable and gets watch guys charged to the max. And you can see why. Aesthetically, it's spectacular. Its provenance is incomparable. 39 millimeters across the round of the case from 3 to 9, not inclusive of the crown. The watch is nice and slim. Only 8.5 millimeters thick with a domed bezel, it easily slides underneath any formal cuff. But aesthetically, it's also a perfect match for casual and sporty attire. From lug to lug, it has nice compact proportions. 46 millimeters from lug to lug means that even though my wrist, as you see it here, is 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch can likely be worn with proportion and security on a wrist as small as I would say even 13 and a half centimeters in circumference. It wears that well. It's flat, compact, remarkably low slung, but it is heavy. The tantalum is an exceptional choice for a high horology timepiece because, especially for a manufacturer as integrated and small as FP Journe, tooling up to make this tantalum case must have been excruciating for all involved. A tantalum is not easy to work, but it has the satisfying heft of precious metal with considerably more hardness and scratch resistance. You'll note that the strap is alligator on the top, rectangular scale, monotone stitched, and on the bottom, Again, alligator, but with a small scale pattern. One of the few brands that uses alligator on both sides. FP Journ uses this rugged material to ensure longer wearing durability than those that use calf on the underside. And of course, the pins are both curved so that they can hew tightly to the arc of the case and create a very integrated look, but they also have pull tab releases so you can swap out the strap for deep cleaning of the case or to simply change the shoes on your watch. Of course, an FP Journe engraved pin buckle is included in matching tantalum. Now, the watch features a fully polished tantalum case. The only non-polished surfaces are on the back, which are a muted satin finish, but everything you can see gleams beautifully, making this not just among the rare watches that use tantalum as a case material, but an even more select group that use tantalum in its polished form, very rarely seen, and you'll note the case does not lack for charming character lines and strong definition. The dial is best described as a sort of blue chrome, and I say that because it's clearly metallic, but it's not a sunburst and it's not matte. It's almost like a mirrored kind of metallic blue, best described as the kind of gleam you get off of polished chrome, but in a rich, almost iridescent blue. Now, it has an off-white coloration used for the hands as well as the printing from the railroad track to the numerals to the FP Journe marquee, and it's worth noting that although the tone of the printing suggests Luminova, this is not a luminescent watch. You'll note in pocket watch fashion, there's an off-centered small seconds hand, a loving reference to FP Journe's origins as a watchmaker. He started in France in pocket watch restoration. That nod no wink aside, the movement is all FP Journe circa the 21st century. As you can see, twin mainspring barrels Executed entirely in 18 karat rose gold, there are a number of different finishes here, but let's talk about the basics. You're looking at caliber 1306, manual winding, 22 joules, pardon me, 1304, manual winding, 22 joules, operates at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and you'll note it is a free-sprung balance, so it takes an adjustment and holds it resolutely in the face of shocks and vibrations on the wrist. Worth noting that F.P. Journe insists his watch meet the ISO 3159 standards and exceed them, but he has not sought nor has he received COSC chronometer status for his chronomet bleu. He insists 
rather that his in-house standards are more rigorous and the watch meets those. Decide as you will, but I've found no reason to disprove the claim. Twin mainspring barrels ensure a 56-hour power reserve and an even release of torque across the entire range of power reserve for better isochronism and precision. And you'll also note that there's a cavernous gulf between the power sources, the mainspring barrels, and the actual balance. And that's because F.P. Journe channels the drivetrain hides it underneath the dial side of the movement to create a yawning gulf that provides a beautiful view of the barley corn guilloche of the base plate, but also a better view of the escapement and the balance in action. It's a charming technical aesthetic and one that is quite unique to F.P. Journe. This watch is not just engineered, but its movement is composed, and that's part of the performance art of the F.P. Journe Chronomet Bleu, a watch with incredible presence, great reverence, a watch that transcends price, perhaps the most appealing watch in F.P. Journe's entire catalog, regardless of style or price bracket. If you're going to own just one, this would be an excellent choice. You can see and you can purchase this F.P. Journe Chronomet Bleu on our website.